This is a video about using the Novation launch control with Reaper. The Novation launch control is connected to the iMac with a USB cable. There are no drivers necessary. I'm going to fire up Reaper. First, you want to make sure that Reaper recognizes the Novation Launch Control, Options, Preferences, Audio, MIDI Devices. And it's, it's set up here, Launch Control, Control Only. Click OK. OK, let's put some tracks. And let's put eight tracks in. Command T on the keyboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the uh, real utility for me of the launch control is controlling the parameters of effects. I'm using the Behringer BCF2000 to do a lot of the control over faders, panning, mute, solo, track select, automation, and so forth. So let me put some effects on track one. And I believe Shift F opens the window. Okay, let's see. I'm in the Kakos category. I'm going to put on an EQ and the uh, Native Reaper EQ. Now, I've previously set this up. I'll demonstrate how it works, and then in a little while, I will show you how to set the parameters. So, the first parameter is the high pass. Parameter number two is a band of EQ. I am moving it along the frequency and this raises it and lowers it. Number three is another band. Move it back and forth. Raise and lower it. Number four is a high shelf. Find the frequency that you want. Raise it. And you can also sweep the frequency once you have it up there. I'm going to press the effects one button and it's gone. Again, I'll hit shift F on my keyboard. And the second effect I'm going to add is the compressor. I select the Reaper compressor. And the parameters I programmed are firstly threshold, ratio, and knee. I'm going to add another effect to this track. And that's gate. The parameters I've con um, programmed are the uh, threshold, attack, hold, and release.
Now you can call each of these up individually. You want to work on effects number one, push effects one, close it, effects two, close that one, effects three, close that one. Now in Reaper you have the ability to click and drag with your mouse to another channel. So I'm going to select the EQ and put it on track three. I'm going to do the same with the compressor, duplicate that, and also the gate. I'm going to deselect this one, and I'm going to select this track. And now, as you notice, this is track three. Compressor effects two. We have the compressor, three the gate, turn it off. I'm going to do that once again. Go to track number five. Click on it to make it the active window and call up the effects number one. Number two. three and making my adjustments. Now I've all done this all previously I'm going to show you now how to program a MIDI controller to control a effect in Reaper. I'm going to select track number six and the effect we're going to use is the delay. First parameter I'm going to control is the wet and dry. We'll start with the wet, click on the slider, come up to the parameter box, click on learn, and now turn the knob. You'll notice that it's in absolute mode, soft takeover. Without soft takeover it would jump Select OK. Let's go dry. Parameter learn. The second knob. And let's do one more. Let's do volume. Now you see last touch volume, whichever one you touch is going to be the parameter that you can do a learn. So this is number three. Okay, to test that, wet, dry, and volume. Now this is the first effect on track six, so by pressing effects one, it goes away or call it back. So I switch to track three, effects one, two, and three. Track one, effects one, two, and three again. Click on track six and effects one is the delay we just programmed. Here are some of the other features, the parameters that I've programmed using the actions menu. Basically using the same procedure. You click on an action and then turn a knob and it'll associate the two. I have the mute for the master. I have master volume. Let's um, 
deselect number six. I'm going to select tracks one, two, three, and four. Let's say that they're drum tracks and you want to use custom colors to group them and make it easier to visualize. Press the color button and let's make them in the green spectrum. Okay, let's select the next four. And let's say these are vocal effects. Press the colors. Let's put them in the blue family. Let's add some more tracks. Select them all. Assign them some colors. And let's put these in the yellow family. If you want to uh, adjust the routing for any particular channel, select it. There we go. Now it's selected. And there's routing for nine. Select seven. Routing for track seven. Two other functions I can show you are insert tracks let's insert four tracks here where it shows the uh, tempo in beats per minute if you have a tempo based effect like a delay, you can use the tap button. To change the tempo. This has been a brief video showing the use of the Novation launch control with Reaper. This is Reaper version 6. Thank you.